When she tells you she was busy, that's bullshit. <laughs> to be completely honest. And I'll tell you why that's the case. And there might be a lot of uh, pushback on this kind of video, but I don't care because I speak the truth and that's all that really matters. Women always have their phone on them. Not just women, all of us, but specifically talking about female nature in this video. Women always have their phone on them. Because I observe, I observe women in the gym, I observe women everywhere, in the clubs, on the streets, when they're in their cars, everywhere I looked in the past three, four weeks, especially since I've been making these dating videos over the past couple of weeks, I noticed women are seconds away from picking up their phone. So am I, to be fair. However, I noticed women pick up their phone a lot when they are unsure about what to do in a situation. A couple of times I was in a club last week on the weekend and I saw a girl talking to a guy that wasn't too interested and she whipped out her phone because it was a distraction. Now, who's she going to message when she whips out her phone? Someone that she likes, someone that she's interested in, right? She's not going to message random strangers that she doesn't care about, okay? She's going to message people that she has a connection to. So they always have their phone on them. I was even like, you know, time stuck in traffic, looking over at the traffic lights, you know, I'd pull up, you know, like always take a look, see what's going on. And like, she'd grab her phone. So possibly why is, you're in traffic. You're, you're supposed to be driving. What are you looking at your phone for? Every situation, after a few, after one set in the gym, pick up your phone, look through it, put it back down again. Do another set, prance around with your pretty pants, pick up the phone. Do it on the phone again. Women are always on their phone, bro. So if you're trying to tell me that you fell for the I'm busy line or I've been busy, then you're a mug. And don't be a mug. <laughs> so the point of this is to express that if she's not interested in you, she will be busy, or I should say, busy. The amount of times I've wasted messaging girls who take a long time to respond, who tell me they've been busy, oh, I had a, a, a tough few days, I had this to do, I had that to do, blah, 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 blah. That's how I read it. Don't mean to sound offensive here, but it's all about priorities, okay? It's not, I was busy. That's fucking bullshit. Because a girlfriend that loves you is going to message you. Hey, babe, I'm having a really tough day. How are you? Oh, shit. Sorry to hear, sweetheart. You know, we could talk about it later. Yeah, I'll call you when I get home from work. And she calls you even after a super tough day. A girlfriend that loves you and that's committed to you and that's still attracted to you and that values you and that respects you will call you, will want to be in touch with you, will want to share her life with you. A girl that's not that interested is busy. No, she's not. She's on her phone during gym sets. I'm watching this shit, bro. I'm seeing it with my own eyes. I'm seeing it with my own eyes. Don't fool me and don't feel, don't fool my people. Don't fool my followers, my viewers, my brothers, my, my friends. Don't fool them. So I don't want you wasting time. I mean, I've wasted, I've wasted a fair amount of time in life chasing women that, that weren't interested in me. And they're not interested in you for a number of different reasons. There's no, there's no way you can control that. You can't control that. You, you just have to let that particular thing go, you know. Now, I'm not saying that you should expect her to respond immediately. Right? I'm not saying like, oh, she doesn't respond immediately, then she's not interested. No. But you will get a gut feeling and your intuition will tell you whether she is interested or not. When she takes long to respond, when she's giving you very simple answers and they're like one word answers and they're very bland and she's not asking you questions and she's not intrigued and she's not returning, returning the questions either. I find it happens quite a lot with Russian women, actually. When I speak to Russian women, their, um, their responses are usually very bland. They don't really like, they're not like full of chat, you know, they're not exactly like making up mad conversation. Put it that way. They're like waiting for you to lead the conversation as a man, which is okay. You can lead the conversation. But... 
you also want to be able to receive some sort of, um, it's a two-way communication, you know, at the beginning you can chase, but then you expect the woman to, to also follow up. Now, don't always expect the woman to initiate as well. There's a lot of YouTubers that are like, oh, she should be initiating. She should be chasing you. Nah, not really. Like women are not going to be chasing you. Okay. They don't chase you. They will hit you up. They'll message you and see how you're doing. You'll message them. Mainly it's you messaging them and them being keen to talk to you, which is a very good indicator of interest. Obviously, if they message you out of the blue, then definitely it's a high level of interest. But that's not so common unless you have very high status or you're extremely attractive or you've gamed her to the point where she's so emotionally involved in you because you, 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 you played it so perfectly. And good for you if you have. But those are rare occasions. But just remember, brother, that she's not too busy, okay? She's not the CEO of Amazon, nor is she the, the founder of OpenAI, okay? She might run her little business here and do this, whatever. Don't give a shit. Like, cool, great, hope it's going well, hope you're making money. But if she likes you, she will get in touch with you. She will make herself clear that she likes you. Unless you're dealing with a very young girl who can be a little bit stupid and immature and doesn't give you indicators of interest and doesn't sort of give you the tips or give you the indication that she likes you. But women that get a bit older, you know, 25, 26 plus, um, even like 23, 24 plus, when you message them and they like you, they will respond within 24 hours. And if they don't, they'll be like, hey, sorry. Sorry, didn't get in touch. Was doing this, was busy. All right, sure, she was busy, but at least she's got back in touch with you. If she messages back two, three days later, bro, like, she's just busting your balls, man. You know, you can't be dealing with a two, three day late response. And and I'm not saying there's a problem with that. I'm not saying, oh, but it's just like, why do you want to deal with that, man? You don't have enough, like, you, this life's too short. Your energy's precious. You need to conserve that precious energy. So if she's taken that long to respond, one word answers, she's busy, bro, she's always on her phone, bro. Just know that. Just know she's always on her phone. And the truth is going to hurt, you know, so videos like this might hurt people. But I'd rather that you know the truth and that you deal with the way life actually is rather than the way you want it to be. Oh, no, man, she runs this bikini business like she's super busy, bro. Like she couldn't get back to me, man. She obviously likes me. Yeah, bro, she took three days to get back to you. Like, she's not taking three days to get back to some absolute champ. Like, some absolute G driving some Ferrari. And he's got, you know, 400k followers. And he's absolutely ripped. And he's got some, I don't know. You know, he's also, he's got a swimwear brand. And he's just taking it to Miami or something. I don't know. You know, a high level of social status, put it that way. So, she's getting back to that dude. Because she doesn't want to lose him. And she's getting back to you three days later. Because you're second, third, fourth best in the queue. So find a woman who who is responsive to you. That's how you're going to build a relationship, man. It's all done through communication. Communication, open, clear and honest. Timely communication. Not disappearing for days. Not giving you the I'm busy line. You know, not crawling up into a ball when they're upset. Which most women will do. But eventually, you know, you do need a woman who, who can be honest, who can talk to you and discuss these things. If they'll crawl away and they barely speak to you, you know, one of the girls that I recently had to break up with, um, it was about six, seven months ago, gorgeous, absolutely stunning sort of, you know, a tall blonde girl, like looked like a model um, from Finland. She, um, her communication just wasn't on point. It was, it was poor. It was slow. She, she didn't enjoy like FaceTime video calls. She was a bit shy about them. And that eventually destroyed our relationship. Because I need to, I need to communicate with people. You know, I'm, I'm open and honest, and you should be open and honest. And if you're not communicating clearly, then your relationship will not work. So if she's too busy, and she's taking her time to get back to you. Her communication is slow and unclear, and one word answers, and not open. Find someone who's going to be, who's going to value you, and who is going to be open with you. Okay. So stop wasting your time. And start finding people who who will reciprocate 
the energy that you put into them. Till the next time.